in Psalm 131, verses 1 through 3, it says, Lord, my heart is not proud. My eyes are not haughty. I don't concern myself with matters too great or too awesome for me to grasp. Instead, I've calmed and quieted myself like a weaned child who no longer cries for its mother's milk. Yes, like a weaned child is my soul within me. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord now and always. You know, in reading this psalm, my first inclination was to think, I'm not proud or haughty either. I try to stay in my lane and just do what God has called me to do. But the more I think about it, the more I think I might be wrong. If the determining factor of being too proud or haughty is concerning myself with matters too great or awesome to grasp, then I'd have to admit that I'm proud and haughty. There are any number of things that are beyond me that I tend to worry about be concerned over. The stock market, the world economy, and whether our savings will be enough to see us through retirement. The liquidity of Social Security, which is projected to burn through the OASI, the Old Age Survivors Income Reserves, by 2033. That's only nine years from now. Uh, possible nuclear conflict. There are currently nine countries with nuclear capability. Russia, United States, China, France, United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Israel, and North Korea. <laughs> you know, on that list, many do not have stable governments or stable leaders. That's a little troubling. What kind of world my grandkids will grow up in? Rapidly changing social mores along with the steadily decreasing number of those who profess Christ has me concerned for their future. Here's the thing. All of these concerns are too great for me. To worry and fret over them implies that I have some control over them. I do not. However, God does. And that's really the point of the psalm. Instead of continuing in prideful worry, I need to quiet myself in the arm myself in the arms of God as would a babe in the arms of its mother. Put your hope in the Lord. Now and always. Pray with me. One, I am concerned with number of things that are too great for me. I just don't have a measure of control over. And in that sense, I've become proud and haughty, thinking that my worry can solve many of those things or that I have some power over them. Lord, I don't. I know that. But you do. Instead of fretting over those things, I need to trust and place my faith in you regarding those things. You are God in control and I don't need to have all the answers because you do. I just need to rely on you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Okay, friends. Hope you have a great day. God bless you. See you tomorrow.